Hey there guys, welcome to this edition of Creative Audio Production. This episode is mainly for songwriters. I have a resource for you, some modern technology. Um, I like to write songs from a sonic motivation, from a sonic impetus, so some kind of sound that motivates me. Uh, often that's a virtual synthesizer or something I have going on in the computer with drum loops and whatnot. But I have a, a new toy here in the studio. It is the TC Helicon. Uh, let me just turn the camera and then I can show you. Alright, I have the, the TC Helicon Harmony Singer. A pretty new product. Um, if just right out of the chute on your vocal track you get access to reverb, compression, de-essing, some things like that. Um, so that's, even just for that, it, it's a great resource. What this is going to do is it's going to harmonize with me in real time. So with this knob I can choose how, if I want one or two backing singers behind my lead vocal and if, the, if I want them to sing above me or below me. Uh, so I can kind of set that here. Um, this, this one chooses how loud the backing singers are and I want it to be pretty loud so you can hear it. And uh, we'll just have a little bit of room reverb for today. So what's going to happen when I start harmonizing is uh, this cable plugs into my acoustic guitar or piano, uh, digital piano. Then my microphone plugs in and then goes out uh, to my, my sound system. So the guitar just is going to go straight through. This pedal doesn't really do anything to that sound. It just needs it to, to know what chords to harmonize with. Alright, well let's take a listen. Alright, so here it is. Do, do. I'll start adding harmony parts. Do, do, do. It needs a chord. Do, do. Slip sliding away, slip sliding away. You know the near destination, the more I slip sliding away. I know I botched those chords. But just keep moving. Uh, let's try a three part harmony. Oh, some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. So that was one harmony above, one below. Let's try two above. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away, oh, I'll fly away, way, way. Let's try to get a four minor chord. So pretty cool that you can uh, conduct the chords with your instruments and conduct the backing singers. I really like this because you can compose songs in real time. You can alter rhythms, melodies, uh, or even words, and the backing singers are going to follow you. So it's great for coffee shop gigs, songwriting, a lot of uses you can get out of this harmony singer pedal. Well, let's take a listen to it with a piano, a keyboard. All right, here is testing the TC Helicon Harmony, what's it called, Harmony Singer pedal uh, with a keyboard. A lot of the demos online seem to be with the guitar here on, on YouTube, so let's see if we can help out the keyboard players a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so let's try just one harmony to, to begin with. Maybe just a, a one voice above me. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. All right, let's try three voices. So two voices above me. Let's try that. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So 
I gather from this, in both cases with the keyboard and the guitar, is you have to figure out what chord voicings on the instrument help out the pedal the most. You might have to adjust a little bit. Um, so as you can hear, it's hanging with me pretty good, but I think if you play pretty complicated stuff, I don't know how well it will hang uh, in keeping up with the harmonies. Um, especially, you know, even if you play open voicings for something, it's on, with this root fifth uh, root, sort of a voicing or fifth root fifth, it doesn't know what the third is. It doesn't know if it's a minor sonority or a major. So you might have to alter your keyboard playing a little bit to make sure that the pedal uh, has the information it needs. So um, I would use it. <laughs> I feel a little more confident in this point, having messed with it with a guitar and a keyboard. I feel a little more confident with it as a guitar uh, supported device rather than a keyboard. Um, it doesn't have my trust yet as a keyboard device. So before you take it to a gig and plug it in and trust it, make sure you practice with it. Uh, you could probably get it to do what you want, uh, but just make sure um, that it, it can um, help you out in the way you intend. Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty strong about it. I think it, it could help out, but I'm just saying make sure you practice with it. All right. Hope this is helpful, and we'll talk to you guys later.